No more intro video. I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of that. So we're playing Columbia Hills in Ohio. It's called Royal Crest. We're going to play the front nine for you. A little fan behind me giving me a shout out for the next fuck couple holes. So we're working on a couple things. We're working on not coming over the top. We're working on getting the hands inside, pushing it out to the right. We're trying to get this drive straightened out a little bit. Um, also, if you guys are new and you haven't seen the, the walking nine holes, I'm going to put that one at the end of this one, and I'm going to put it a link in the description box below. You guys absolutely crush that video. We're over like 30,000 already, so you guys are killing it. Um, and if you're, again, I know there's a lot of new people here. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go to Instagram at the fat guy golf. That's me. You get a lot more stuff on there. Uh, I try to post every other day on there at least. Um, oh, look, we missed a putt. Shocking. All right, hole number two. We're already two over. Hot start to the day, guys. Yep. There she goes. Blue. <laughs> All right, drop two, hit three. I could have moved up, what, 30 yards, but I felt like I already had a feel for it, and I like hitting my three wood. So I just hit the three wood again and just made sure I focused on getting my hands inside and not smoking over the top on it. So, you know, it's not a bad shower, 20 yards short or so. I got to hit a pitch up to run it here. But I'm putting because I'm scared of pitching after the last one that I popped up and left short of the green. So I putt this. And that's all right. Now we just got to make a putt. I think that's the key to life. Just make the putt, right? Make a putt, John. Or don't. Either one's fine. All right, number three. Uh, I'm actually getting mad because the ground, the tee boxes are like cement and you can't get a tee in, so you're going to hear it after here. Listen in. Big guy's angry. Finally getting some power on the driver and got to hit three woods off the deck. All right, 165 in. I, uh, I leave it left. I almost rolled into the water. There's actually water back there, so I got lucky. Then the pitch shot, I just pulled it a little bit here. All right. Par putt. Gotta make one. Go in. Oh. Turn, turn, turn. Oh, come on. Uh. So mad. I mean, you can't expect to make those, but still, you got to make one. This theory that the pin actually helps it go in, I'm not buying it anymore. All right. Watch here. As this is me, this is me dying as I'm trying to put the T in the T box. It's a 544 yard par five. And I'm so I'm like, yeah, let's use the driver. Let's tap that in. That doesn't work. Let's use the ball. Let's tap that in. That doesn't work. Got to mute the sound here in a second because I'm going to get real mad and drop some F-bombs. <laughs> here it comes. And then I get more mad. So we're hitting a three-wood off the deck on a 544-yard par three, par five. Come across a little bit, leave the face open, get that side spin to the right. Now I'm in a little bit of a peculiar situation. I can't get the camera behind me, obviously, so you guys aren't going to see this. Um, it's a really hard dog leg left, so there's like a little opening up there. I have like no shot, so I'm like, I'm just going to hit it up there and see where it goes. And I ended up in the woods a little bit, so I got to I grab a pitching wedge and I'm just going to hit it out. I got a little opening between the trees and... I hit it clean. You're going to see it bounce here in a sec. There it is. So front of the green. All right. Listen in. Well, I can't putt all these, so I got to learn how to hit a pitch shot. Not confident. Got to learn how to hit these pitch shots. Got to trust the shoulders. That one's okay. Didn't land it exactly where I wanted to. But, you know, we end up being a little bit short. But again, it's a long, you know, what is it, 10, 15 feet for par? So 
we gave ourselves a shot at it. Now we just got to make the putt. So I, I'm doing a lot of maintenance around the greens here. They don't got a guy out there with a leaf blower helping us out, so. Make one. Roll one of these in, big guy. Come on. Here comes the putter throw. No, just angry. All right, tap it in for bogey. All right, so we're seven over going to number five, par three. I feel like I hit this perfect, and it just keeps going to the right, and it hits that side hill, bounces over the cart path. Had the distance. Mm. Just I got to get my hands inside and stop coming across. I just got to get this belly out of the way so I can get that done. Another pitch shot. I actually went up there. I picked out my landing spot. And I just, I missed it short, and I missed it left. And I just keep pulling my pitch shots. And it's because I'm coming across. I'm coming over the top. And I got to I gotta keep working on that over-the-top finish and get my hands inside and really trust it. Make a putt. They got to fall. They got to fall. All right, long par four for me. Generally, this would be unreachable in two for me, but not this year. Big guy has been pressing a little bit. 241, hitting it like a big boy. All right, so we only got 174 in. We grab a five wood. And I actually hit the ball straight, so that doesn't happen. <laughs> Right to left. I've hit everything with a little bit of a hook draw. And that one, that one was straight as an arrow. So how dare I hit the ball straight? So now we get another pitch shot. I try to take my time. I go up there, I pick up my landing spot, and now because I've been I came across the last one, I leave this one out to the right. Okay. <laughs> Sprinkler head. Okay. I don't know the rule on that. I'm starting to feel that just in my shoulders and not in my hands and trusting the shoulders to do it. So I don't technically, let me see, that's where my ball ended up. So I'm not technically aware of the roll when there's a sprinkler head in your putting line. If you guys want to let me know in the comments below, go for it. I'm going to move it a foot to the right. And I actually missed the film on the putt there. So I missed the putt, of course. I think I lipped that one out too. So now we're nine over. But again, another big drive for me. Now we got 126 in on the next shot. This is normally a seven iron. Last year, this is a seven iron. But everything's going a little farther, so I grab an eight. Better ball flight. Get sticky. Oh, hello. That's nice. I don't know if you guys can see it there, but it's it's right there. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> That's close. Told you I felt like I was striking the ball well. All right, birdie putt. Let's make one. Looking at this putt from every angle, can't find the break anywhere. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go straight at it. And he hits it off the toe. He's so worried about the line. He doesn't put. He doesn't focus on the ball strike and hitting a clean putt. Oh my God! Make a putt. What am I doing? I hate myself so. Much. <sighs> All right. Stupid bad ball strike there. Just hit a clean putt. Number eight. Oh. If I've ever played this course before, I would know that there's water over there. But I had no idea. So, right over that hill, there's a gully. That's the that's actually the water I hit to, hit into on hole number two. So that's where it wraps back around. And then this, I, I don't have any idea where the green is. I know it wraps around to the left, but my exact line can't see anything through the woods. And we actually hit a great shot. We just ended up being to the right because I didn't know the line. And then it's a terrible super speed putt. Thank God it hit the leaf. Come on, make the bogey putt. Just make one. Go in. Go in. <sighs> All 
All right, last hole, 11 over. Things have fell apart. I did better walking when it was soaking wet and I could barely breathe. So, goes to show. And then the next shot is why we play golf. They're a lot of fun. Uh, I love hitting these. If you guys know me at all, you know I love hitting big draws around trees. And a lot of you guys say, just hit the ball straight. Don't focus on what you can't do and blah, blah, blah. And So I hit it, and I'm scared I'm going to hit the tree. So I'm just like, and the ball's white, so I can't see it. So I have no idea where the ball is at this point. But it's right in front of the green. Yeah, it's right in front of the green. I hit a great shot. That's why you play the game right there. Because when you hit great shots like that, it just, it's fun. Made a mistake here. Made a mental error. I did not walk up to the green and either clean it, get the like twigs off, and I did not see how far I had to land it. Uh-oh. I might have messed up here and zoomed in when I should not have. That's all right. You guys will see the end of the putt, I think. Ah. Yeah, my bad. All right. 13, 12 over, whatever wow. it is. That didn't go well. Plus 13. 13 over, because I was 11, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, no, 5. So plus 12. Plus 12. Uh, not bad for being 5 over after the first two uh, putting. Well, how many times did I just miss? Four? I just missed like four of them, didn't I? Driver's getting better. Power's getting there. Um, almost getting the distance down on my irons a little bit. Everything went about 10, 15 yards farther. So we're getting there. You know, the maybe the lifting is helping a little bit. Maybe it's making me a little stronger. You know, I know everybody's used to my 150-yard drives and 175-yard drives, and now we're actually hitting it a little bit farther. So who knows? Maybe the Baker Braun stuff is working, right? Maybe all that stuff is actually going to pay off. So don't forget, follow me on Instagram. Go to at the fat guy golf. Uh, you can go down to the description box below and see my second channel, Baker Braun. Thanks for watching, guys.